Hey there everyone, this is the DJI Avata drone. I picked this up on the day that it was released here in Australia. Um, I've been wanting to get the digital video system um, with the goggles, uh, sorry DJI FPV goggles V2, but um, a few months uh, ago uh, the goggles 2 was rumored to be released so I waited uh, to see that come out and saw all the leaks and the drone this Avata drone came out with it in a package so I thought I'd pick it up as well to see how it is I was interested in getting a Cinewoop style drone and uh, this fit the bill so I thought I'd pick it up and try it out so one thing I did notice I'm not gonna make this a full review of the DJI Avata there are too many videos out there already of this that review it uh, and provide all the information about it but my impressions are that this is a pretty good drone so I've had a few light crashes uh, nothing too heavy yet but uh, you can see some scratches and marks already and I've seen a few other videos online that uh, people have uh, smashed this pretty well against trees and into the ground and stuff um, so yeah I'll um, I'll just talk about the Care Refresh. So I bought the Care DJI Care Refresh with this because I wanted to fly this without any worry or care. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that, you know, when I use it, I'm going to use it to its fullest uh, abilities. And so with the DJI Care Refresh, I can, you know, damage it, break it, and then send it back to DJI and they will supply me with a new drone for a small excess fee. So I want to you know have fun with this thing i want to take it through the small gaps and uh close to the ground and if i do, do damage it then i'm not too worried you'll notice that here i do have this blue thing that i've got that's strapped around it um so the reason why i have that is because i've been watching a lot of the other videos online um other reviews and they've been uh, crashing into trees and gra the ground and some of them have noticed that the battery would eject completely out of the drone and the battery plug on the bottom here that you'll see would also come out which means you would lose power so losing power to the drone there is total mode on this that you can activate if the drone is upside down like this but with no power no battery can't do that so I thought I'd devise something to actually hold the battery in and stop that from happening since I'm going to be actually taking this thing full-fledged uh, into trees I'm pretty sure I'll be uh, crashing this thing um, and I wanted to be sure that the battery wouldn't come out so there was a video online um, let me just see what it was there's a review online and it was done by Stuart and Alina and they actually well he was flying it and he lost the battery so he crashed it into a tree battery was ejected and he lost it his drone also went into the water as well which also was uh, obviously then quite damaged but I saw that video and then what he did was he got a he suggested to have a cable tie strapped around the battery so I'll just lift this what I've got here and I'll get to what I've done with this TPU strap that I've built um, and you can see that I can just remove it there and take the battery out it's a bit hard it is a bit tight especially when the battery plug is in so for a crash to actually eject the battery it's got to be a pretty hefty crash so there you go battery plug and there are these two clips here that actually hold the battery in so as you can tell with a heavy crash it would vibrate quite violently in the cage that this battery goes in and the battery would just simply slide right out and you would lose it or you might find it somewhere laying nearby the drone when you walk to pick it up. So Stuart and Alina they actually or he suggested to put the cable tie around the battery so around the outside here and then around this portion. I don't know if you can actually see that that was a bad shot of it but here you go there is this cage here it's kind of like a pillar with three plastic things I think that actually are the wires inside that take it from the flight controller underneath here into this top hood here and the top hood here actually has the GPS and the compass and all of those things in inside it or all of those sensors and so all the wires are passing through here now if you have the battery in there 
and the cable tie going all the way around that thing, what's going to happen is if the battery was going to eject with the cable tie that's wrapped around this delicate piece of plastic here that's inside, I'm going to say that it might actually just rip that right out as well if you're going to have a heavy crash. So I didn't want that to happen and I just wanted to suggest to others that maybe we have a better solution to that to avoid that. So you don't want to damage any of the electronics. So with that out of the way, I can now go on to what I've built here. So this is TPU. I just printed it out. I've designed this myself. It looks a bit kind of, you know, dodgy, but it seems to do the job so far. I haven't tested it out, but I will, and I will come back and let you know how it works, if it actually held the battery in on big crashes, and if it ever ejects the battery, and if anything breaks, I'll likely upgrade it, and I'll make a mention in here, or, or post another video that shows how I could up improve it. Sorry, forgot to mention, I'll put the STL to this part down below in the description so anyone who wants to print this out and do it for themselves happy for them to use it so let me know if you have any suggestions on improvements as well if you um, think there is any way to make it better um, I'll tinker with some other new versions as well myself so um, yeah let me know down in the comments cheers so I'll put the battery back in and you'll, I'll flip it on the side here and you'll see it. So this gray, light gray cage on the outside is actually the frame of everything, of the whole drone um, with the arms down here. This is the top frame. So you can say that this here is actually very structurally strong. So it does feel very strong as well. So I think that's gonna hold very nicely and there's no electronics around it. So I've got a cable tie that loops around this part here where the V comes down and joins to the bottom of the frame. So I've got it on this side and then on the other side as well, just the same. Now, this here is just a flat TPU piece, quite flexible, that I've printed flat and it's just got two holes on the side and it's just the right length. Um, it can be shorter as well and then the, the cable ties can be longer. Um, so it's adjustable, I guess, with the cable ties to how tight you want it. So with those two on the side, these loop around, come over the back and you, it basically just slips over. So it slips over, put the battery plug in and then you can pull this down and it holds the battery in the cage. So it stops the battery from ejecting out the back here. So I thought this was something that would be useful and uh, hopefully it does hold the battery in on, on big crashes. So it, I've made it so that it does have the tab on top here as well. So when I want to pull it off, I can simply slide it up and putting it back on, I can slide it back down. Uh, since it's TPU, you also get you know, access to the button as well. So I can press the button to see the LED lights for the battery. So that's just telling me how much battery I have left. And if I want to power it on, I can double tap once and hold it, get my fingers out of the way, and then it starts. So there you go. So I'll just power it off, and there you go. So that's what I've done for this drone, just to uh, help it. I just wanted to show something that might be useful for you out there. If you don't have a 3D printer um, to actually print one of these out, um, I would suggest to actually cable tie it with a long cable tie all the way around the way that I've got it here. So um, not passing through the inside there. Like I said, it will tear out the electronic wires um, this way here. Even if this does tear out, if I break this and the battery gets ejected, at least I haven't damaged anything serious that's inside there. So that's all I have for today. I hope you liked that. I hope you enjoyed it. Just another shot of the drone itself there. And uh, yeah, I think this is a great drone. Um, it's gonna, I think, uh, bring a lot of people who aren't into FPV, who just wanna do cinematic flying that has that FPV kind of perspective, uh, flying through things and over things um, and long ranges. So I think it's a great little drone. I enjoy it and uh, I will be, um, yeah, spending a lot of time with it. Cheers.